So today I played a very long game, uh, was a final nice result to me and then the game of course was uh, quite important for the outcome of the match. A very long game, 70 moves, I think we both made a lot of mistakes actually at some moment. I uh, had a winning position, then things got a little bit unclear, but I think I uh, still had uh, quite a decent advantage uh, to go through the game shortly. So I played d4, usually I play e4 uh, most of my games, so I think he was a little bit surprised. Uh, maybe he was even surprised to see me today playing. He'd been expecting probably uh, Wojtaszek uh, to join the match. So he played uh, b6, uh, the move order is a little bit um, unusual, but as well, uh, we were quickly back into the main lines and uh, g3. I like the position with g3 because actually I played a couple of games myself uh, from the black side. Uh, so I'm a little bit familiar with this uh, structures. He took instantly on c3. Usually it's not uh, the main move to go, but uh, of course still. Uh, and uh, here I've been surprised by rook e8. Uh, actually no idea why he did play rook e8. Uh, of course the usual setup is with d6. And after rook e8, uh, I thought for a while I have, uh, I think, an interesting choice of playing maybe bishop g5, h6, and something crazy like bishop h4. I've been not sure if uh, that's the right way to go, but I think it uh, deserves attention because this move rook e8 is just basically a waste of time. So um, I thought uh, maybe first rook e1. <coughs> uh, so I played rook e1 because I thought rook e1 is a useful move in any case, and I was not 100% sure about the bishop g5 idea. And I thought in case he plays d6, <coughs> now I have the second chance of uh, taking a look at bishop g5. So after h6, I can take play e4, or I can just try this uh, bishop h4 line. Uh, and he surprised me once again. He played queen c8. Uh, Maybe he was a little bit afraid of bishop g5, but um, in my opinion, uh, the setup with rook e8 followed by queen c8 is just looking st very strange. Uh, I'm not a big fan of it. Uh, so um, I went on by playing queen c2, I think very logical because I want to play e4 next. And I, as well, I've been considering to play d5 uh, and bishop g5, knight e4. Now I thought maybe c take d5 to take on c3 I think is very dangerous because of queen b3 so h6 uh, should be the move for black and um, from the feeling position is looking quite dynamic for white but uh, I've been not 100% sure but um, <clears throat> maybe I should have played it as well just to play d5 take and cd is looking very interesting so I take d5 c4 I think I have great uh, compensation for the pawn down. Uh, so I thought here for a while about d5, but then I decided to play this queen c2 because I threat to play e4. He needs to go bishop e4, I go queen b3, and uh, my main idea, of course, is just to go bishop f1, knight d2 next, so I, I get the pawn uh, to e4 without changing the bishop. And it's very difficult for black, I think, now to avoid uh, this bishop f1, knight d2. Maybe now he mm, should have tried something um, dynamic, uh, maybe d5. Uh, I was not 100% sure, but he just went on by playing d6. I went bishop f1, continue my main idea. And once again, he's <coughs> he surprised me by playing knight to c6, uh, because I think the knight should go to d7. So he goes, to, of course, to knight a5, but uh, I'm not 100% uh, sure this is the right way to go. And uh, here I had the knight d2 move and uh, bishop g5, so I consider for a bit more aggressive uh, bishop g5, knight a5, queen to d1. Uh, the point is that um, he sought for a very long time to take or not to take. Uh, I thought that I have quite a good compensation here in case he takes. I wanted to play knight h4 followed by queen c1, f3, e4, so I thought I uh, have a great compensation actually here. Uh, and in case uh, you are not taking on c4, of course, uh, knight d7 is then a must, and this is as well what happened in the game. I go knight d2 followed by e4, and then um, my bishop is going to be on e3, much better position than on c1. This is why bishop g5 been played. Uh, he went on by playing bishop g6. Uh, well, it's hard to give an advice, but still I would prefer to keep the bishop on b7 even now. Uh, 
already I think it's quite obvious that the position of white is uh, really nice. E4, he played f6, also a move, uh, I'm not sure. So bishop e3, queen b7. I think he sort of felt, uh, felt apart a bit here. Um, his moves are quite strange. Uh, I went on by playing h4, I think very logical. So I want to play h5, h6. <coughs> bishop to f7. Here I thought a lot of uh, nice moves uh, to make and um, I think I played uh, knight b3, maybe the most forced continuation. Not sure if this is the best, but um, during the game I've been quite happy. He played knight c6, so I have the d5. He went on by playing knight e7, maybe knight d8 a bit, uh, but also as well here. I think uh, white's domination is quite obvious. So he played knight e7, and I think I played good move h5. Now it's not that easy for him uh, to do something, so um, because I think uh, h6 is not really working because I have this queen g4 idea all the time. And in case you are not going h6, I'm going h6 myself, and it is a problem. He sought here for very long time, I think. Uh, he sought basically for 25 minutes, maybe in this position, running very much low on time. And uh, he played badly, he just went on by playing e5. I think this is almost losing, so I played h6. G5, I went on by playing bishop h3. I think the game is basically basically done because I'm just collecting all his pawns now. So queen f3, I want to take take. He can't do nothing, so he went on by playing bishop to g6, so I took took. And uh, the only way to defend from a mate is to play knight c8. I took here. I mean, the game is basically over. Uh, he went on by playing rook f7, and now I started to do incredible things because I thought I'm just winning by force, and maybe I'm actually winning by force, but of course it was much more easier just to play knight d2 followed by a 4 f5, just resignation. Uh, I thought that I'm just winning on the spot. I played the 4, take, take, so I want to play f5 next. He must take. And here I played a tempo bishop d4, a horrible move, really horrible move, because I wanted to play bishop d2. I have no idea why I moved bishop um, d4. Incredibly bad, because I think after bishop d2, I should be winning. Uh, at least I have no idea how he can defend here, because I think he has to take and uh, rook e8 and follow up by this. <clears throat> I think uh, my position should be winning. But after bishop d4, he has this rook f5, and uh, still uh, I'm close to winning, but uh, it's getting very tough. Uh, the, I mean, it's not so simple anymore. So queen g3, he went back, rook e7, I think uh, bishop e3, um, recognizing the mistake because I need the knight on d4, obviously. He went uh, rook f7, so I'm winning the exchange. <coughs> Maybe as well here, it was not the best to take on f5, maybe bishop d2, but I was just, uh, I wanted to be sure that I'm exchange up, and I thought, uh, well, having exchange up should be enough uh, to win the game, so I took, took, played queen g5, he plays queen c8, uh, this was correct, uh, and I went on by playing bishop d4, maybe. Uh, and here I played uh, rook to e6, I don't know. I don't know if uh, this was uh, the right, the right thing, uh, the right thing to do. Um, maybe, maybe I had something better. But already, I've been running a little short on time, and uh, but it's looking winning. I mean, um, so he took on d4, the only move, and played rook to f5. <clears throat> Probably I missed somewhere here, and uh, an easy win because uh, position is clearly looking winning. Maybe I should have taken here and then played, uh, play and take take rookie one. But uh, I just wanted to give him uh, no chances and, in case, um, and played uh, queen uh, to g3, but uh, I think I, had, I should have something better. Now he took, I played rookie eight check, <coughs> king to f, uh, no, king to g7, yeah, because if king f7 I go of course rookie one. So I gave him check, he went king to h8. I think king f8 is also um, a possibility because uh, in case I take on c7, he can go rook h5, so I have this threat, rook e1, and now he has this rook h3 uh, because I don't have time for a king g2, so things are quite tricky. And uh, so 
he sought here for a long time, but he went to king to h8. I mean, position is looking winning, but uh, he really defended uh, very nicely. So rook f1, I thought uh, looking safe. Now bishop to h5. I thought, well, <clears throat> now I really have to be winning here, but uh, I played rook f2, maybe not the best, but it was very tempting to go rook f2 because I just want to go rook g2. And he really found uh, an amazing way to defend. Uh, he played queen f6, uh, I took on c7, and he went on by playing bishop to g6. And very strangely, it's not that simple to win uh, to win this position because it looks completely winning, of course, uh, but uh, a lot of tricks. So I would play queen e3, queen h4. That's his idea. He wants now to play rook to h5. And strangely, I don't have um, anything concrete that I can do or to the black king. So I played uh, rook h2, rook g2, I think. Queen d1, uh, king to f2 I played, and he went rook f8 also. Uh, great, uh, great move, rook f8. Uh, strangely, once again, uh, I saw no direct uh, win. Uh, and actually, well, I was uh, searching for it, so I was as well slowly running uh, down on time. So I played c5, uh, looks quite logical because in case I can take queen e5, the game is instantly over. But now the things are getting tricky. He played this very nice move, bishop to d3. So he wants to give me a check and uh, play rook g8 next. Uh, I went on by playing rook g5, uh, quite logical. So he checked me, he checked and played, I think, or maybe bishop e4 played uh, earlier. Not sure, but uh, I think we had uh, this position. And what did I play here? I think I went on by or king g3 maybe, or I played queen f2. I don't remember because so many lines I uh, <laughs> calculated, so I'm not sure if I went uh, queen f2 or uh, instantly king g3. Hmm, what did I play? But okay, in any case, uh, we come back to the same position. So uh, he gave me check. He played this very nice move, h6, uh, rook g7, and bishop f5. So uh, he wants again to play queen h3. I mean, he was really finding uh, the last chances, the best chances of, uh, of the game. And uh, <coughs> I think I repeated once uh, the moves. So then I played this queen to g2. He gave me check, check, uh, back. Now he checked me again. And slowly uh, he'd been running out of uh, checks. So I think we had this position and I took. So here I felt that finally mm, the game is uh, very close to be winning, but uh, of course it was uh, very difficult with all these uh, tricks um, around my king and there uh, was a little time on the board. So I think uh, he really played uh, very nicely to defend a very difficult position. So he took on d5 and now after queen e3, I felt, well, uh, finally seems like uh, I won the game because queen e5 is coming next. Very difficult to avoid it. He played bishop e4, and of course, after f5, h6 pawn is hanging. So, in case he takes, I give him mate. He played rook f8, f6, and uh, I checked him queen g3. So, all in all, I think uh, the game was a lot of mistakes. I think uh, clearly uh, with two pawns up, I should have uh, one more and more convincing way. Um, on the other hand, uh, I don't know if I have missed somewhere a full point, but uh, from the feeling, I was winning uh, all the way, but of course, uh, a lot of trouble, a lot of trouble. So that uh, that's it from the game.